Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So I'm not on GNOME 48 at the moment, but I'm going to show you something anyway. Why? Because I can. All right. So this is Wine TKG or Proton No Package Arch Linux CI. This is a version of uh, what do you call it? Proton that is version 10. Uh, 10.2, 10.3, it depends on which is newest. And uh, when you get it, you download it, you extract it, and you end up having this. So 10.2. Okay, so I'm going to extract that. And inside is normally this. And we need to make sure it's the proper size, which it is. It should be about 1.3 gigs to 1.4 gigs. We're going to copy this from here into our home folder, into our Steam folder, into this root folder and into this compatibility.d folder, just like that, okay? Now, why are we doing this? Because this allows us to use HDR in Wine using Wayland, okay? Now, I do want to take a look at something real quick. One second, uh, okay, wait, check. Because down the road, there's going to be GNOME 48. And in GNOME 48, there's going to be HDR with color protocol and everything else. So if we open up WayCheck, what you're going to end up seeing is color management, management V1. Okay. So that is what's coming. Right now, there's no color protocol, anything at all. It just does not exist. So there's nothing that we can do to make it work. We're going to ignore it for today. I'm going to go into here, which is my Discord real quick, and I'm going to go to Linux Tips and Tricks, and we're going to try this on GNOME 47 for HDR, okay? Now, I know I can enable the, the color protocol. I can do it because I'm me and I'm slightly screwy in the head. Let's just put it that way. If we actually go here and I search Mutter, click this button, which brings us into Mutter, and I go here, then I go to here, then I go to, I believe they're, yeah, okay, they are categorized, so there's 47.1, 47.4, 47.5. Now in here, there's a pro, there's the thing called tools. And I don't exactly remember how to enable color protocol from the tools, but if I just download this as a zip, here, let's try this. So there it is, great. And there's the mutter version right there. Ah, here it is. So they actually ended up renaming it. So what you would do is I would open up like this, see? Then I would copy this and paste that. You have to enable debug control and looking glass. Okay, LG. I'm not sure if you can still see this. But if we go here and we enable debug protocol. And we do this. When we do that. Then there you go. So now that that's done. I know you can't see anything. And I'm sorry. I'm actually going to fix that right now. There. So as you can see, what we did is we went and enabled the debug protocol. I showed you how to do that. And then we made it so the color management protocol is enabled. And now that that's done, I believe if we go into unknown, there it is before. Unfortunately, it's not that one. Uh, because originally the color protocol was, yeah, we would have to recompile everything to get it to function. And I don't want to do that. So... Next thing that we need to do is yay. Uh, VK HDR. There it is. This also works for GNOME. And done. So that's done. Great. Googly moogly. Now, I hope that this works. Because if this does, if this ends up working, we got to actually close this out. If this ends up working, 
maybe I can get Dead Island 2 to finally work with HDR. I know Days Gone does work with HDR. I know that for sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F2. We're going to type LG. I'm going to type this and hit true. Okay. And I don't know where you guys went. So you guys are over here. And the desktop's gone for you guys. So I have to enable that. Open selection. Done. Great. So HDR did enable. Okay. And a lot of things ended up breaking. It happens. That's still 165. That's 180. That's 180. Great. So now I have to go to sound. Yeah. That other monitor, it does have HDR enabled, but it's currently all messed up. So there's nothing I can do. So the next step is finding the game you want to play. I think my uh, the video and the audio are all messed up. Oh, well, I'll sync those if I can. So right here, launch that in there. Set this to TKG. Hit play. That's it. And if it does end up working, the game will launch, of course, and we'll have the ability to enable HDR. Okay, so it's receiving its metadata stuff. And that's a good sign. Uh, if you saw, it was in the top left-hand corner. Started on the wrong monitor, of course. Good. Okay, now we got to compile some shaders. By the way, there are going to be some people that say to skip this. You don't want to skip this. If you do, the frame times are going to be horrible. It's going to be like playing on a console. It's just going to be a disaster. You want the best performance possible, so never skip this screen. Eight, seven, six, one. Good. All right. So display. HDR is automatically enabled. Oh, yeah. And trust me, I can tell. It is definitely enabled, which is freaking awesome. Because you can tell when this game has HDR on. The, the colors are just so good, and the blacks are just pure black. And Oh, look how overblown it is. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to display, and we're going to go to brightness with HDR. If you can if you can't see the logo decrease until it's barely visible. So let's just do 500. If you can't see the logo until it's barely visible. There's a freaking logo there. Can't see the damn thing at all. Wow. Oh, I messed up. Let me try this again. No. Let's actually go to 50. And there we go. 500. There we go. Ah. Oh. I know you guys probably can't see this, but we're gaming in HDR. And it's tanking everything. Okay. I missed. Wow.
Okay, I just had to figure out the controls again because it's been a while. Oh, wow. Okay. Honestly, uh, this works out pretty well. Everything's so bright and chirpy. I love it. And of course, you can change everything as you saw you could, but this is not going to work for all games. Please try to remember that. And I'm off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, wait till Gnome 48 comes out. If you want to try this, you can do this in Plasma right now, I'm pretty sure. Same steps, only difference is you're using Plasma and you don't have to force enable the color protocol. The color protocol. Ugh. No, 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 no. I don't feel like being barfed on today. Uh, go away. Oh no, exploding do. Run away. Ah. Okay, I got 15 shots. Oh no. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> Bye guys.